living in a world where so much is going on It's hard to even hear myself think And hear my heartbeat Something going on, eh? I'm like, am I in the... Am I in the main... It's just the afternoon. Baby, well, he's there. He's just inside, chilling. Um... Yes, yeah, so I've had like a bit of a sore back and stuff definitely yesterday. Like last night was like really sore. And yeah, just like really tight, like that kind of period pain sort of feeling. It's like, and everything's like really low. Like, but it's been low, but it feels like lower again. And I'm definitely getting like consistent sort of like tightenings, I guess. Hello. You ready for mama to have the baby? Yeah. Yeah, are you excited? Yeah. Do you reckon you should come out now? Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Wait, wait. No, it's happening for you. Yeah, but it's a great. Oh, yeah. I'm getting rid of the cuddle. What happened this morning? Lost my mucus plug this morning. It was a little bit more definitive this time than last time. Last time was like. I kind of thought I saw a little bit, but it was like uncertain. And this time I was like, yeah, that's definitely it. So I've had maybe two days now of um, like feeling quite tight and like period crampy, sore back, you know, stuff like that. So I've kind of like felt things progressing and then yeah, that today. So it's like, there's no definitive anything. Because they're like, you know, it could be like within hours that you can start getting surges or it can be weeks. Being as far along as I am, I don't think it's going to be weeks. But, um, we're moving. So now I've got to like, get stuff sorted. <laughs> the last few things sorted. It's so bad in the night because I haven't eaten. It gets real bad when I drink water I don't eat. Do you want me to get you some food? No, not yet. Do you want me to get you some element? No. <laughs> I like how my hip flexes so bad. What's that? It surges. Oh my god. Do you want me to press on your hips? No, no, no. Do you want me to do anything for you? Put another one and then I reassess straight after because I've only got 10 minutes then. It's currently. 2am. She said she's been getting contractions every 10 minutes from about 11. So, um, I think I have a little birthday buddy. And oh, one more dose of bad news, it just seems like one thing after another. And I'm tired and weary. I come out to you and it That cold day. No, it's pretty cold. Okay. If it's not cold, I'm getting the shivers. I could be transitioning to the next bit a bit early. Yeah. Like I could be moving a bit faster. I just started to feel like I was kind of dozing in between. But I started to feel like I'm really uncomfortable to lie there. I yeah. like I think I just need to stand up and move. Yeah. As much as I want to get some rest, it feels a little bit nicer to stand. Yeah. Okay. Oh, happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> About what tomorrow holds You got it on lock And you're so good When I can't see You're so good At taking care of me Sometimes
You might get your 8 a.m. baby or your pre dinner baby. <coughs> oh, that'd be great. Except on your birthday. Oh, fucking well, so hard. He's fun. Job nine hours. Both happens. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it happens. It's a beautiful time of day. Just starting to be now. Yeah, no one's awake. Well, what it appears to be. Yeah. With all the houses, you know. Yeah. Climbing up the hill. What's your body up to, honey? Is it any waters released or anything? No any waters. Other? Yeah, cool. Uh, just I just get on and off like shivers. Not like feeling for shivers, but just like I was like, I was like kind of sweaty, clammy, and for him, and it shivers. It's funny, I feel like cool. the next stop when you came. Ah, well, don't get stage fright because I'm here. <laughs> I'm just meandering. <laughs> They're definitely consistent, that's obvious. It's like she feels really comfortable. Yeah, she is, and you know. She's only now, probably just just before you came, she doesn't want me to touch her anymore. She, <sighs> Job, 
say active labour in hospital is from three centimetres up. And I said I would take a, a, a guess and say very close from the sounds and the pace and the length of the surges, how close they're getting. You're, you're going inward a little bit. You're heading out there, you know. So that would be my guess. Would be oh. yes. It's about following you. Yep. And you are doing perfect. Oh. 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 Remember I told you? Mum gets a bit noisy because it's hard work. I'm okay. She doing a good job? Yeah? Yeah. Can you give her a kiss? It's for you too, Scarlett. This is what she did when you were born. What's your ba baby brother's <coughs> name? Applejack. Applejack. Oh, I love that name. But Dad, what's his real name? Morning, <sighs> oh. 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 I wanted to take longer sitting on the ball, but I just need to sit on the ball for a bit. Yeah. Just take a minute to rest. Yeah. It's gonna be like a ten minute break or something, you know. Just an hour nap. Yeah, just a little nap and come back. <laughs> just no pain, just for a little bit. Just a minute, yeah, give me a minute. Uh, maybe I'll try and... Maybe just breathe beautiful. I feel like from here, Maddie, it's just going to continue to progress really beautifully. Yep. And there's going to be a point where she's either going to go, this is happening here, or we will go. And if we do go, then she's probably like all fours in the back of the car vibe. There's no way she's going to sit down. Nah. And the throw the tails in the car moment. Yep. yep. <laughs> Doing fantastic, Cara. Oh. We're right here, darling. Okay. Yeah, we're right here. Oh. 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 Do you need anything? No. Ride those waves, honey. You're doing amazing. Oh. 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 Oh.
Gravity is really nice to help bubs come down. Yeah. Moving into the birth portal is a great way to help bubs come down and out. And then birth, yeah. So have a listen to, to your inner wisdom and, and maybe just check if there's anything else you could do or feel like you want to do. For example, if you just stayed doing this, you might be still going to come down and out and through the birth path into your arms, babe. I just don't know how much strength I have to push through the pain standing. No, darling. There's also uh, the beauty of nature that you get that little bit of extra boost when Bubs is coming through. So you're going to have the energy. You will, you will have it. Freaking hot, massive. It's massive. Like it's wild. I feel like it's just, such a beautiful thing that's just oh, so wild at the same yeah, time, you know. It's so so crap because like, you feel so helpless. To, you yeah. sit around and doing nothing at times. Sweet and like, by the look of it. Should I be doing something to help? Like, what can I do? Well, holding space yeah. is actually oh, is so much. You know, it's so much. Yeah. So. Yeah, she knows you're there. She knows you love her. It's that's that's actually enough. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's enough. And like, look, Matt, if we have the baby here, fucking amazing. Yeah. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, She'll be fine. Yeah. Whatever she, whatever she, whatever wants. she wants. Yeah. yeah. You feel confident having baby here? Oh, look. Even if I didn't, it doesn't matter. So. <laughs> we'll just push that out of the way. Whatever, whatever she wants to do is yeah. what we do. So. If we get to a point where she's like, it's coming. We're doing it. It's happening. Yeah. Well, we need to just get some towels, my love. It's fine. Yeah, I've got them. They're all there, right? Yep. Yeah. And thirty-six. Um, her water's just broke, so moving to the next stage. We don't know what's going to happen if she's going to have it here or at the hospital, so we're just trying to take her lead and go and do whatever she wants. I felt like someone pricked a water balloon. Oh, yeah. I just felt this like, it like was tight, and then I just felt this pressure on my bum, and I just like bared down, and it just went. <laughs> I didn't have a last time. Nah, I think they they burst on themselves or something last time. I can't it remember. It just leaked. I think I don't even know. It's definitely a lot more of a positive experience compared to last time. <laughs> it fucking hurts, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, wool. <laughs> Yeah. In the dining room. Yeah. <laughs> Love. Yeah. Can you tell? 
Yeah, there's a little bit of blood coming out now, which means he's on his way down. <sighs> Crazy. Like, I never would have thought that I'd have like a free birth. Just didn't make it, did we? I was definitely like, like, don't get me wrong, I was like going into that crazy, like, you know, when you're like eye rolly, like you just almost out of your body. But I was definitely a lot more alert than I was with Scotty. Like, I feel like with Scotty, because I didn't move early and I didn't breathe properly early, I like shut down and I really like disconnected. Whereas this time I felt like a lot more present, which was also really hard because you feel everything when you're more present, right? Like it's just, like that definitely, all of the surges and everything and all the pre-labor definitely like was way more uncomfortable than with Scotty. Scotty's was just long and getting him out was way harder. You did it. I did it. We did it. We didn't make the hospital, but did make a cute baby. Sure did. Don't okay, yeah, thank you. Didn't make a super cute little follow. 
Put me back together 